We are Ben and MP, and for the last two and a half years, we've been rebooting a doomed and sinking boat. Of course, we thought that by now, all the rot was gone. But surprise, surprise, we were wrong. Today, we'll be giving our hull some color by applying the first layers of primer. A crucial and exciting step before splashing your butt back in the water where she belongs. I could cry right now, and I mean it. We are about to paint the boat, and that should really be a celebration. But just thinking about covering the wood really makes me want to cry. I don't know, there was so much effort, so many hours, so much time, so much care put in making this planks, in making our hole. And I know it's good that we're painting it. I don't know, it's just silly, but <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye to the boat. <laughs> but this means we are going to be a very, 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 very big step closer to and that is our main goal. It's taken us so long to get here and hopefully now just a little bit longer. It's okay, the boat's, still, the boat's still gonna exist. And it's still gonna be wooden, I know. And it's still gonna be wooden. <laughs> it's just that uh, same eye, so pretty, but we know it's for the best. I, I know it's for the best. Let's do this. Let's do this. What's really funny is MP and I both don't know what colors the primers are, so we don't know what color we're gonna be painting it now. <laughs> is it gonna be, I think gray or white, what do you think? I think white. I'll say grey. Whoever's wrong has to dance. <laughs> okay, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but it's now entirely sanded down, all the epoxy is scratched and looks completely white and matte. So Nico's gonna go over now, is going over as you can see behind me with a weak power hose to just get all the, all the majority of the dust off because it it's so dusty. The amount of sanding we've done is absolutely insane. So before we go over it with the cloth and like a rubbing alcohol or something to get all the dust and grease off, we just wanted to hose this down properly to get the majority of all this epoxy dust off. Uh, we're gonna let it dry over the weekend. Monday we're gonna come here, wipe all the remainings down and start applying the base layers. Here's a fun fact. If you have watched us from the beginning, you might know this already, but Yaba's corking, the corking cotton itself, used to be coconut fibers. Wrap your loving arms around my neck On the dance floor that she else is born I should have turned her away But I was out of sea I was firing she was gasoline But we were both sad and lonely After what death had done But like rattlesnakes kicked across the ground Our true loves were dead And our hearts were full of grief I was firing, she was gasoline Good God I was firing, she was gasoline but we helped each other outlaw to ease some of the pain. Best friends and lovers most of the time. But I would go mad when she would turn vain. I was firing, she was gasoline. Yeah, I was firing, she was gasoline.
real, for sure. Now we're about to clean the boat with a special thinner that is supposed to be applied there. And then after it's all clean, guess what? Thanks! It's Axon Nobel International GTA 220 Reductor. <laughs> Not like I'm planning on misbehaving or anything. So yeah, our hole is almost We just finished cleaning with the cloth So I should actually check this Half check Half check Because we're only doing on port side for now We're gonna clean and paint And then we'll starboard clean and paint To avoid any dust to fall while we do the other side that's the logic. So now that we finished cleaning, it means that we're ready to start painting and covering the wood. I have to confess, it's really mixed feelings for me, but I'm ready to take this step. I want you guys to join our bet too. If you think it's white or if you think it's gray, and if you lose, please be honest and just dance in your living room. That'll make me so happy. Does this count as my dance? Lose. I did a dance late because now you have to pay before lunch. Why are you assuming you're losing? Because I can see a bit of white. Maybe it's from something else. What if I call the shop and I ask the caller? She probably <laughs> did. <laughs> Get painting. that cottage proa and that was old original wood so it was fine but now that I'm touching the hole I am feeling a bit sad <laughs> I hope you understand this I know it's super silly but I just feel it
That was my dance, by the way. <laughs> You're not getting anything more. I was not filming. <laughs> Is that you paying your bet? Okay, last bit of wood showing on port side, but still. Hey! Hey, it's my part. <laughs> Ready? You go. Ah. And it's done. Hey. <laughs> Please say something with David Altenberg's voice. Here we have. Wild painters <laughs> in their natural habitat. <laughs> that was great. Two! Two more! Oh no, you put a drop out! We've got another empty can which I think I can squeeze some out of. <laughs> Can you? Can <laughs> you got curious? <laughs> Just a drop! Yeah, yeah, yeah! And I almost threw this one away. How did it went off? Just like with toothpaste, it's never actually finished. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> you know what I mean, like your toothpaste is finished, but if you don't have a new toothpaste, you can always still brush your teeth with that last squeeze. This morning it was raining, we were very down and sad because we were really hoping to get the painting finished today. However, the sun started to come out. On this starboard side, we've got Apache and Nico finishing the first layer of primer which is the Vinci Derdy. There is practically, I don't know, three more square meters to do and the bowsprit. So this is almost done and then we can move over to the Vinci Poxy which is a second type of primer which consists of two layers. However, we've put Rafa on a little head start over here and there we have him already applying the first layer of Vinci Poxy. The Vinci Derdy is quite patchy because it's a very thin in-between layer. However, the Vinci Poxy, which is going on right now, is a thick, it's almost a paste, and I have mixed the tube very, very well, the tub. Uh, it's literally a paste that you're just applying in thin layers. So there's gonna be two layers of this Vinci Poxy going on, which is gonna make the boat look completely white without any patchiness. The table saw was making such a mess over there in the pilot house that we've created a little structure a little tent behind here. So all the dust goes in the vacuum still, but not in the pilot house. All this 
second primer painting has been going amazing. Most of the bow has been done and also the like everything except for one meter of the bulwark has been done. However, look what's happened up there. This literally dries in two minutes. So when you apply it, it already almost dries inside its pot or on its tray. So we've made our last batch to see what this is. I've gone up with the drone and it looks like one of those big rings. So it's just gonna, it might rain for a bit and then stop or it might not rain. I'm just gonna wait for this to fly over and see what happens before we make another batch. Or if we make another batch at all. got really good at woodworking that he's ready to open his own shipyard inside Yaba they're always missing to buy one of those pencils <laughs> but it's hard to be alone and the future seen I was firing she was gasoline Got locked up in the Chester County Jail We both knew it was too far out of hand Staring at five years in the penitentiary I was firing, she was gasoline Good God, too much fire and too much gasoline Well, we cleaned that mess up We made amends the best we could but we could not be together anymore I can't say that I don't miss you But we gotta let it be Cause I'm still fire and you're still gasoline Yeah, I was fire and you was gasoline I was fire and you was gasoline Okay, now I've never patched anything round before. So what I've done is I've chiseled away all the rot. Unfortunately, I covered it all so it wouldn't rain in it. And now on a perfectly sunny day, I didn't remove the cover, so the wetness stayed inside, so I'm not gonna be able to glue it today. Now this is as close as I'm gonna get to the correct, correct fit. So I'm gonna fill this inside bit with a lot of epoxy resin with Cabasil which just makes it a lot thicker, like really just fill it up so all the little grooves are filled. Then I'm going to cover this with as much resin and cabasil as possible, stick it in there, hammer it in, probably strap it on with a rope or clamp it, let it dry. This is sticking out loads but I'm just going to go over it with a grinder, sand it all off, it's nice and round, hope for a sunny day maybe even dry it with a heat gun and uh, get that epoxy in it and this thing. Better not lose this, this took me forever. Then we can paint this. And P wants to do like a crazy colored bowsprit. I don't know what color yet, but she wants the boat to be normal-ish, but this, crazy. I cannot tell you how proud I am of myself of remembering the word cabasil. It just came up to me in the right moment. And it's because I've been watching lots of David She Sales videos and he's like been using... Like the one on your head? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm watching lots of his episodes and I think practically every episode he mentions Cabasil. So thanks David for teaching me this word and make me seem a lot smarter than I actually am. <laughs> and anyway, see you tomorrow. When we thought our boat couldn't get any prettier, the white primer came into scene and simply made Yaba shine. It feels like we're living a dream and this is only possible thanks to our incredible community. Thank you so much Bill for joining us on Patreon, Derek, Roman and John for sending us a PayPal donation and Wiley and Duane for leaving us a super thanks. You guys are legends and see you all next Sunday. Stop filming now!